the most important case we have in Nigeria now as far as abounding grace foundation is concerned is this very girl you are watching here without your grace I cannot do anything at all without your grace I cannot fulfill my destiny daddy without your grace I cannot make your kingdom yeah, 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 yeah. let your grace fall upon me no no Oh, Jesus. Quite sad that she has been there for about four years and her talent is dying. Look at Joy's old look. Listen to her song. Even when my father shall leave me, daddy, don't leave me. Even when my mother shall leave me, Jehovah, don't leave me. And look at joy current look. Even the day I give birth, that very day, I said pure water, I said pure water. I never know that it was the day that I would deliver. <laughs> when I said the pure water, I said the pure water. The night, I said, let me cook food and eat. As I was cooking the food, something was paining me in this place. I never knew that. I wanted to give birth. So as the thing was paining me, nobody <laughs> were able to help me. I quickly carried back and went down to the bullet. I told him, ah, see, I've come. I don't know what is happening to me. See the way she looks like. She almost died there. So we are doing everything we can to supply what she needs. I want you to please keep supporting Abounding Grace Foundation to be able to bring justice to the loans that are forgotten to downtrodden ones. With that secret, I cannot fulfill my destiny, oh, Dali Without a grace, I cannot make your kingdom, Dali. Let your grace fall upon me, Nana, Nana, oh, Jehovah. Let your grace fall upon The Lord has made me free. And I know I'm free. I know I'm, I'm free. free. Oh, my name is Jubilee. You can watch me down. I am tall and slim. God has made me free. You cannot hold me. Now I'm the devil. Even the devil not fear me. So by God's grace, any moment from now we are coming out. And not only coming out, but we are coming out to become great ministers of God. Amen. So the main thing in life is purpose. If you can't know your purpose, there's nothing you cannot achieve. You, I run to my people. My people save me. I spend all my money. My money finished. Please, we need pro bono lawyers. Many of this one doesn't even, they don't have much case to answer. Some of them are just people who they accuse and then they don't have, have 5,000 Naira to pay that very time police arrested them and they ended up in prison. So how much is it that is holding you here? 3,000 Naira. You mean 3,000 Naira? I have option of 2,000 Naira. 2,000 Naira. So because of that you are inside this place. Okay. Have you been to court and they say 2,000 Naira? Okay. It is a shame to be in prison for 2,000 Naira. For me, I think it's a shame to pass. What's your name? Rekia Daouda. Rekia Daouda. Okay. And what's the fine? 20,000 Naira. Who say you pay 20,000 Naira? George. The George. So you have been to court. Then you are just waiting to pay you and then you will go. Yes. We will sort it out and I want 15,000 Naira. 15,000. So you have been here for how long? For, for one year, sir. It has been one year, yeah, because of 15,000 Naira, sir. In the Rahim Jato, yes, sir. How much is the bill? 1,000 Naira, sir. 1,000 Naira. Yes, because of 1,000 Naira, you are here. Yes, sir. I find it very nasty. For 1,000 Naira, you took the people inside the prison. It is really wrong. How was your amount? It's 3,000 Naira. 3,000 Naira. How long have you been here? 
What about one month for 3,000 naira? What was the fine? 2,000 naira, sir. 2,000 naira. How long have you been here? For five months now. Jesus Christ. 2,000 naira for five months. You have been here five months for because of 2,000 naira. Okay, we'll sort that out that one in quickly. We'll sort it out quickly so you can go home, okay? Oh, how long have you been here? I've been here to tell them for 10. For how much? For 10,000 10, naira is holding you here for two years and less. And many of them, their case files are lost. Like in Kirikiri, you can see hundreds of them that have no case file. So please, pro bonus, come up. We need your help. <laughs> In Africa's prison, we have so many women with babies inside the prison. Some of them got pregnant outside and then give birth inside the prison and some of them came with the baby from outside. In this girl case here called Blessing, she's epileptic. You know, falling down all the time with this baby in the stomach, it is abomination. This baby could die. She's about five, six months pregnant. Every time falling down with that baby in her stomach was quite disturbing. We as a bounding grace foundation, when we got to Biaja prison and saw the situation, we have to step in to get the medicines and other things needed and we have to pay the fine for her to go home. And the reason why she's here was just because of this stubbornness. Our youth doesn't listen. She got herself into it. Thank God that we have saved her from it. Now she delivered a bouncing baby boy. But there are also so many women in African prison that are going through this kind of problem. As you can see here, uh, the food that we are giving to blessings here is just something we do monthly to other female prisoners all over Nigeria and other parts of African country. Lots of babies are born inside the prison and they are badly neglected. Abounding Grace Foundation has taken it upon us as a mandate to provide for them monthly. Uh, some of them we supply them diapers, some baby milk and all that and their mothers also. A month and four days baby. Today the baby has become 10,000 richer. Abounding Grace is giving her 10,000 naira today. That is two, two or three. This child will begin to flourish in millions. We also have to leave your own 10,000 naira for this baby so that, we, so that the baby can also uh, become a nation. What you're seeing here are old people that are locked up because of their children. It is not that the old people committed crime. I say they are locked up in prison because of what their children did. In the case of this old woman you see here in Omar here, she has been in the prison for about eight years now, going to nine years, and she is 84 years old. This woman was arrested because of what the son did, and then she was not arrested alone. Think of the implications of what we are doing. Every action, there's a reaction to it. She is 85 years old. Why would she spend her last days inside the prison? Because maybe one man has money or has power. That Jesus has come to set you free. Whoever son of man set free is free indeed. Whenever you got arrested because of crime or because of violence and all that, your mother and your father are the prime sufferers. They are the ones suffering most in it then comes your sibling so we have to be very careful in my own case i committed a very serious offense i was arrested with 1.5 kilo cocaine and when they said that i'm going to serve those years 15 years inside the prison my father died so if you look at the thing you see that what we do can kill our parents so we must be very careful in what we do look at that old mommy now she is that's dying inside that prison we've tried everything we can i can't afford to buy a good lawyer to set to set her free look at this old man here he has been inside enugu prison for 17 years and the the man you see by his side who is 77 years old holding his hand is the son who killed somebody and the old man is suffering for what the son did is this fair it's not that means we have to be careful of what we do because our parents could suffer for what we are doing body skin many of them are like that many of them many of them are like that regarding these people you are seeing here many of them are very ill very sick i'm talking about real sicknesses such as hiv hepatitis tuberculosis hyenia many of them are virtually dying such as this one you see here he's about to die they are carrying him to the place they are asking me to pray for him so he may live unfortunately 
we don't know what was the outcome after when I left but there is one inside there that is dead you can look at that one inside there that young man you see there is gone and I can assure you that their parents are not aware what happened to him Abounding Grace Foundation has operated not less than 20 patients and it costs like $300, sometimes $400 to operate each one. And there are so many women that give birth in the prison and then they, they got contaminated with something. We have to help them to get better. So many other sick people inside the prison and um, these people, they need medicine. That's why we run all these medical outreaches you are seeing here. We cannot be able to handle it alone. We need your help. As you are seeing these young boys here, and most of them are raided, but some of them are in the prison because of aggression, fighting on the street, being intolerant. That's what brought many of them in the prison. And if you look very well, look at these very young boys you are seeing there. Some of them are 16 years old, some are 15 years old. They are teenagers. And I can assure you that in Africa, very few places like Ghana is where I've seen juvenile prison. In Nigeria, we don't have juvenile prison. They are all mixed up. And when you are there, you can face anything. Anything can happen to you as a child. So as a teenager, stay away from trouble. Our youths are so, so much aggressive these days. I don't know what is causing it. But you can look at this young man here. Look at this man. He is serving death sentence now in a do state in Benin White House because of aggression. He got angry with somebody and he used bottle to smash on the person's head. And the person died after one month. He entered into death sentence for that. Look at that other man there. He wasn't even the one that caused the fight. This old man, they attacked him in the farm where he's working. And he defend himself. He would have run away, but he defend himself with his merchants and everything. And the person died. He ended up in death sentence. So aggression doesn't pay. When you are too angry, please bite yourself, eat yourself, do something to curtail the anger. Don't act because if you act with the anger, the devastation that comes from it is always a prison time that follows. Mm. Was about the two bottles? Wow. 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 You understand? I've taken the lives of so many and I don't count. I don't know the number. Mm. For this very offense that I'm facing here right now, I did not commit it. As you preach, I feel so remorse. I feel so much. I look at it and say, this is my dream. I want to go out of this place and stand in the congregation of people ah, and preach the gospel of, preach the gospel to the heart of everybody. Let it not happen. There is nothing in this life. Uh, my Lord, I hear that you take a decision right now. Now how many times, how many times have you been in prison? Give out the microphone. Seven times. Seven times. But the world came sharp and you decided to surrender all. Is that decision from you? I can't hear you. Yes. You don't want to go back to your vomit. Yes. Go down on your knees. And some of these people that you see on a waiting trial, very long a waiting trial, many of them are innocent. I spent 19 years for waiting trial. 19 years are waiting trials. Now, final judgment from him, enemy with me and brother Victor with the SEC. In Badagri prison, where we have four, five hundred prisoners, eighty percent of them are raided. That means they are innocent, and they are on a waiting trial until we come and bear them to go home. If not, there, some of them could die there. Ni Oyekomi, yes, sir. How do you feel? How much was your bail? One hundred twenty thousand. One hundred twenty thousand. Now that's what we paid for him. Uh, although some of them. Some of them are not so high. Some are 40,000, some are 30, some are 15, some are 20. But anyway, we want to thank you. No matter how big or how little it is, these people were all raided. They are not criminals. They were just raided. And they happened to end up in prison. Abounding Grace Foundation took the bull by horn to come down here and they cooperate with the personnel. We work hand in hand to be able to set the innocent people free. So today you are going, free, uh, you are going home to go back to what you used to do. What's your work? I'm an electrician. Electrician, and you are going back to your electrical work, right? Of course, sir. Okay, then. Um, Abounding Grace Foundation will also assist you to make sure that it goes well. So, what do you have to tell the people that pay the money for this release? First of all, I thank God Almighty for helping my for helping the man of God to pay my bill because my parents, my people, they have tried, 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 see yet they not meet up. But uh, for God's glory, I thank man of God. It is a surprise to me. Big money like that, one hundred twenty thousand. Ah, 
I give thanks to God. But the man of God, I thank you very well. God go, God go bless you. God will bless your ministry. You know, go further in Jesus' name. And if you have promised, I will say myself, I promise that I will give them the 20,000 naira today, and then he will go home. We will pay the money. No, don't kneel down for any man. That's a sin. It's an error. We don't kneel down for any man except only Jesus Christ. In Lagos prison, where we have 3,900 and something prisoners in one prison, quickly medium prison, 75% are innocent because they are about 80% on our waiting trial. You cannot call somebody who is on a waiting trial a criminal. He's not convicted. And at the end of this, some spend 10 years, 15, 20, 25 before they discover that they are innocent and they will send them home without compensation. You don't want to get there. Stay away from trouble. I love you the way you are. Then I said, I'm going to make you the mercy of God is upon you. The mercy of God is upon your life. Fear not. Sorry, that is settled. It is settled. Let me tell you something. If you can make the right decision today, the same way that that decision you made some time ago changed the course of your life. You, if you can make the right decision today, that decision you will make today will change the course of your life for better in Jesus' name. Yeah. We have done so many youth program. What are we trying to achieve? Sensitizing the youths on the consequences of crime. See, we used to say this when I was in prison. If you can do the crime, you can do the time. So be careful out there. I am here now in UK, I travel to all over the world trying to sensitize our youth. What am I trying to do? To create this awareness. I want you to know the danger. One, when you get into that place, your mother, your father, they will be the one that will face the consequences because they will be out there crying while you are inside the prison misbehaving like I did. Don't let anything make you miss this night. Now, because of that boldness and what God wants to do in your life, run fast and be my friend here. Come on quickly. Come out here. Come up here, everybody. Hurry up, hurry up, please. Run from wherever you are. Whether in the upstage there, please come out quickly. Run up, run up, please. There's no time. Hurry up, hurry up. It can only be God that will do this. If not for Jesus Christ, you would have been gone. Many years back, you would have been gone. There are space everywhere. Please take the line. Take all the line here. All this space occupy it. For something is about to happen. The glory of God is everywhere. Don't let this moment pass you by. I don't want to visit you in the prison. Now look at this soul that you see coming out here. This is Port called Night of Glory, hosted by my father in the Lord, Pastor Reverend David Oweli, Dr. Reverend David Oweli. Over 100,000 people are there. Thousands of them came to Christ, changed their life, dropped their guns, dropped their knives. Many of them dropped their arms that day in the stadium in Port Harcourt. The same thing happens in Omaha Stadium. So I have been like the choice in many places to speak about my testimony, not because I know more than anybody, but you know what I've gone through as, a, as an ex-criminal. Whatever you are doing, you have to think of these people that you leave behind. I don't know what you are waiting for. I think today will be your night. It will be a right choice for you to look at what look at how they are running out to the altar. You see this, you see the, how they are running to the altar. Let it be your own story tonight. That you leave that your seat, come out to this altar, and I will pray for you, and your life will not remain the same. And remember, when you give your life to Christ, all things will pass away and all things shall become new. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 says, Now therefore, there is no condemnation upon those that are in Christ Jesus, those that walk according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. So if we can be able to come out now, all things shall pass away. You will not remember your past anymore. Standing grace, touching our lives, setting the captives free. Abounding grace, bringing healing to every broken heart. Abounding grace, yeah.